What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day. So I was in the scripture with it. Philippians 1, verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath began a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So when I woke up this morning, the Heavenly Father spoke to my spirit. And he told me to let someone know. He's going to help you overcome that sin that you've been struggling with for years. And he went on to say this in my spirit. Whatever you do, don't turn away from him. Keep showing up. Keep showing up to Lord Jesus. Because Lord Jesus is the one who's going to help us overcome stuff that we struggle with. So if you've been trying to let go of something that's a bad habit or some sort of addiction, the Heavenly Father said, this is why Lord Jesus became sin, so that we may gain the strength to overcome those addictions, to overcome those strongholds, to break generational curses. It's all done through Lord Jesus. And the Heavenly Father said, if you keep showing up, if you keep coming to Lord Jesus, he's going to help you break those addictions, those bad habits. He's going to help you overcome that sin that you've been struggling with. See, when Lord Jesus laid his life down, that's how God was able to give us the grace and mercy that we need in order to keep on going. Because if we stop coming to Lord Jesus, guess what's going to happen? The devil is going to try to overrule our life. And that's what the Heavenly Father don't want to happen. He wants you to understand that he cares for you. He wants you to understand that he's always there. He never forsaken you. He's right there by your side. So as I'm having this conversation with the Heavenly Father and he's just placing in my spirit what to say, he also told me to let someone know he's going to wipe away your tears. See, the words say in Revelation 7 verse 17, for the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So if you've been in a dead situation, the words say the lamb, that's Lord Jesus, is going to lead you to fountains of living water. And when you get to those fountains, God said he's going to wipe away your tears. So all them tears that you cried in secret, God saw it and he said he's going to wipe it away. So if you've been struggling with trying to let something go, this is your confirmation that God is going to help you overcome it. We are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthened us. So if we keep showing up instead of turning away from God because we did something bad, God said he's going to wipe away your tears, he's going to make the crooked path straight, and he's going to strengthen you in your time of weakness. But you got to keep on pressing forward. You got to push through the stuff that you struggle with. See, a lot of times what happens is the devil try to put shame on us when we do something bad. So because we feel shameful, we turn away from God. We turn our backs on God. But God said he don't want you to do that. He, in fact, he wants you to do the opposite of that. If you're in trouble, come to him because he's a strong tower in the day of trouble. He's our refuge. He's the one who's going to give us shelter when we have those cloudy days. When it seems like all hope is lost, when it seems like we are living in darkness, Lord Jesus is going to show up on our behalf and he said he's going to help us. He's going to wipe away our tears. He's going to lead us to rivers and fountains of living water. So we won't never thirst again. God want to take our thirst away that we have, that we crave for this world. And he wants to give us something that's everlasting. We find that grace, we find that mercy, we find that peace, we find that faith, we find that trust. All of this is found in Lord Jesus. He said, don't turn away from him. He told me to let someone know that he's going to show up on your behalf. 
He is going to continue to perform that mighty work that he has begun in you until the day of Lord Jesus Christ returning. He is going to help you overcome that sin. So stop feeling guilty because we have Lord Jesus on our side. The enemy wants you to feel guilty. But Lord Jesus wants to liberate you. Lord Jesus paid your debt in full. That's why we're covered by grace. That's why we're covered by the blood of Lord Jesus. That's why we can break generational curses. That's why we can be freed from any sin that we struggle with. Because Lord Jesus got the victory. That's how you're going to get the victory today. But you got to keep showing up. Keep coming to Lord Jesus in your time of need and in all aspects of your life. Keep God first by following Lord Jesus. God got you. So if you're watching this video, this is confirmation that God heard your prayers. God seen your tears too. He's going to wipe away your tears. He's going to take away your depression, your anxiety. He's going to build you back up into the image that he created you to be. See, the world try to break you down, but God is going to build you up. He's going to exalt you in due time. So trust God in this hour because he's doing a mighty work in you. People might turn their back on you. The world may have turned their back on you. People might not have faith in you. People think you a lost cause. They lost hope. But guess what? God didn't. God see the person you can become. And you will become that person in this season. This is your season. It don't matter what people got to say. It don't matter what the devil try to do. This is your season. God is showing up on your behalf and the favor of God will reveal itself in your life in this season. God is about to do something miraculous in your life in the name of our mighty Lord. And that's Lord Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So keep on showing up. Keep on coming to Lord Jesus. Don't turn your back on him, even if you did something wrong. That's why Lord Jesus became sin. So that we could be forgiven. So keep on coming to Lord Jesus because you are forgiven. You have confessed everything that you've done and God seen your tears. He's ready to wipe them away. And guess what? You will become a new creature in Christ. God said he's going to help you overcome that sin that you struggle with. And he's going to wipe away your tears. God will wipe away your tears. Eventually, you're not going to cry about that sin no more because God going to help you overcome it. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.